double click on the handle of a sharp node in order to get it to align with the other handle. Try saying that three times fast. Hi, Dave Lawrence, California Type Foundry. So in this series, we've been looking at the contour tool, which is the main tool in your drawing window. And we've been looking at how to move nodes, select nodes. Now we're gonna be looking at handles. Why are handles important? Those are the things that are used to control all of your curves. So here are 10 tips for handles. <laughs> Tip number one, get your handles aligned horizontally or vertically depending on what you need. So here on this F, this is a node that you might want to have it be actually vertical. So hold down shift and then double click on any of its handles and then it goes to straight up and down. Okay, now another way to do, you can hold down option and then double click on the handle. You use this to slide it the difference is option optimizes the shape to make sure that the shape is staying the same. <laughs> Tip number two, you can drag multiple handles at the same time. So here I am at the serif of an F and I, I can just highlight both of them and move them out and that's just gonna save me time in arranging this how I want. Tip number three, double click on the handle of a sharp node in order to get it to align with the other handle. Try saying that three times fast. Okay, so hold down, well actually you don't need to hold down anything. Just double click this and double click this and you see now it's sort of aligned like a smooth node. Now it's tip number four, move the handle without changing the angle. So here's a situation where you would want to do that. One of the rules in font design is that you don't want the handles to cross at any point, but also you don't want them to cross if I draw this out to see like that, sort of drawing an invisible line, you don't want them to cross that way either. So what we're gonna do is switch to A, to go to the contour tool. I'm gonna to hold down shift and then I'm gonna pull this out. And so now it's following the rule and the curve is going to look a lot better. Move multiple handles left or right or up and down. Here's a situation where you'd want to do that. So notice on this cupped serif, on the left side, I had, this handle is pretty long and this one is short, whereas on the other side, this is long and this is short. So if I wanna get them to the same, I can select, the, highlight this side, and now I'm gonna hold down shift and bring it over. So they're gonna stay in alignment and just be moving horizontally. And then for this particular example, I'm gonna move this up by maybe one, so that way the handles are not crossing paths when you continue out their imaginary lines. Number six, equalize handles on both side of a node. So if you're making a font family or if you're making a variable font, you need to have, you need to follow a couple rules in order to make the interpolations not have these things called kinks, which is basically something is supposed to be smooth, but then it looks like this and it has a little V shape on it. So one of the ways you can do that is by making all the sides equal for all your masters on the diagonal node. So what we're going to do is hold down option and then click on this here and see how it's making it equal. So that is going to help if you have, if you do that on all of your masters, then there will be no kink in this place.
Whereas in the last examples, we clicked on a handle in order to adjust it. In these next ones, when we click on the node, it adjusts the handles around it. So the first one we're gonna look at is normalizing sharpness. So if I have this, hold down option, and then double click on a sharp point like that. Okay, so this is what this one looks like. And if I did it in a different order, it would change the results a bit. So I'm gonna hold down option, double click this one, hold down option, double click that. And see with that, I get a pretty natural, uh, normal looking serif. So this one, you do have to play around a bit to see what, uh, what you get when you click in what order. Number eight, use a smooth node or genius node to control where a node is between its handles. So the way you do that, you smooth something, and, and let's take a look at our curvature comb first. Okay, we wanna look at these ones close up. So let me just sort of mess it up here. Okay, so see, now the curvature is not good because the comb is telling me there's not a match between the curvature on the top and underneath. So hold down option and double click on the node and then it gets it to be pretty smooth. So that's the way you do that. If you hold shift option and double click, then now that changes it to a genius one. So what is that going to do? Well, as I change this thing here, it's going to adjust this node to keep everything smooth. <laughs> balance handles. Unbalanced handles can be a problem if you have a font family or if you're making a variable font. So what is unbalanced? So if I go to this inner shape here, you can see that it's pretty regular, but if I click on my handle, this one is 100 and the other one is 176, so that's pretty different. So how I fix that, I hold down Control and Option, hold those down, and then click sort of near the curve. Don't click on the curve because if you do that, it's gonna make a node. Now hold down control and option again and click near each of these to fix them. So actually, if we're fixing a bunch of things like this, a faster way to do it would be to go up to the contour menu and then click down at balance and everything is now balanced there. Okay, we are at number 10, my favorite, the Toonie lines. These ones for me have been invaluable. I use them all the time, especially on circular letters like the O. So to turn it on, you're gonna go up to view and then down to Toonie lines or push L on the keyboard. And then you can see that these faint gray things appear between each handle. So now I can, when I go over it, it turns blue and I can adjust this right here but if you wanna change the entire O together, you go up to contour, you go down to edit tuning lines, and now I can adjust the curvature, such as making it have more curved tension like that. That's it. So now I am expecting you to remember every single one of the things I just showed you. Now, it's it's hard to remember all the stuff. Uh, some of these things that I had forgotten about and some of the things I learned for this video, but hopefully this gives you an idea of what is possible. And then as you try it out, you can see what works in your workflow. So please leave a comment below if you enjoyed this video and hit the like button. I would really appreciate it. Talk to you again soon. I hope that you enjoyed these videos that I'm making for my friends at FontLab. To check out the fonts that I've made, visit calfonts.com.